it's hard to walk alone and even harder to walk together when we feel like there's no more sun in our lives. Just lots of stress and even more strife. My life is not mine. I gave that gift to addiction. I was actually um, the privileged, honored, blessed one to be able to uh, you know, have the experience and opportunity to conduct the workshops uh, that produced the amazing poetry that you see on the walls, but not, you know, just poetry, because this is everyone's, um, their heart, their soul, their emotion, their love, their anger, their hate, their need to do better, their, you know, strive for, you know, changing their lives, and the struggle, just the everyday struggle of life. So that's what you see and feel. Well, I think the Personal Renaissance Project connected with the community on a, on a lot of different levels. One of the reasons that we do the project to begin with is that for people who have mental illness, who have addictive disorders, that there is a lot of stigma attached with that. And what our field has come to learn is that as a field we really have to address the issue of stigma. We have to um, educate the public about uh, the hope for recovery and that people do recover. It's done through art in a way that is non-threatening. And I think it was also um, important in terms of connecting the community with the, the particular treatment program, JEVS, who, were, who was the host for the neural project. My department played a role in several ways. Besides funding the program, we were very instrumental in conceptualizing the concept and then working with the program, the community, and others who participated in the painting of the mural. The art itself brings people together, those who are recovering and able to engage in the art as a form of expression, and those who we hope they can connect to, the community they come from, the community that supports them. In addition, the nature of what's in the mural expresses for people both the hope, the frustration, and the difficulty of recovery. Recovery is not a simple process. I think writing has been a part of healing for a long time. So we have lots of examples of people who are in a process of healing or recovery who write. There was a huge, we believe, impact on a number of the participants who participated in the project. Uh, we know that there were individuals who were able to really get in touch with feelings and with uh, issues that um, they may not have been able to to get in touch with through normal therapeutic kinds of activities. And so we know from a therapeutic standpoint that there were people who benefited greatly from the, the project. A mother, a daughter, taught from one to another. The return, the relief, revival at last, both mother and daughter, new start from the past. Thank you, beautiful.